Hey guys, it's Teo. Welcome back. Today I'm doing a Sunday reset to get organized for the new year. If you're interested, keep on watching and let's get right into the video. All right, so while I make my coffee to start the day, I just want to address the fact that I haven't posted to YouTube in like two months at this point and just say I'm sorry and that I miss y'all. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. I didn't get to tell y'all any of that because I just honestly like I always have an excuse, but I really have just been mentally checked out of life and working and just not in the best headspace so anyways um i'm really sorry but i decided to do a sunday reset just to get my headspace clear and get in the mood to get back working i really enjoyed making this video i did a lot of organizing in my house just to get my apartment clean and ready for the new year i got rid of so many clothes and just like some other deep cleaning things so here i am making a bouquet i saw jackie ina's snapchat and she made a really beautiful bouquet so i was like oh that would be so cute for my apartment it didn't really turn out the way i wanted to just because the flowers that i used kind of sucked this this is all they had at heb these roses were terrible i didn't have enough like roses and hydrangeas but overall this was still really therapeutic for me and it was honestly really fun this is like something i didn't know i would enjoy but i enjoy doing this a lot so i will try to keep like practicing and keep fresh flowers in my apartment the eucalyptus smelled so good so definitely relaxes you and refreshes your apartment at the same time so i definitely recommend doing this if you want to find like a new hobby or something this one's kind of ugly but she's also kind of cute at the same time just because she's my first one so she's kind of special you know <laughs> all right good morning y'all i bought a bunch of stuff off of amazon and i wanted to show you guys what i got because i'm gonna be like kind of starting my bathroom redecorating um in this video i'm not gonna finish it because i don't have everything i need but i'm gonna show you guys like what i do so i bought some shelves and like just little things for my bathroom. So I'm gonna open everything up so that you guys can see what I got. Um, this is the first thing that I got. It's a like concrete material type of trash can. I want everything in my bathroom to have like a natural tone to it, like very earthy tones and some black here and there so i got this trash can and it's off amazon it's really really like heavy and good quality it was kind of pricey it's really really cute and the quality is very nice and i love the details of it The first thing I got was this shower caddy. It's just like two black shells, kind of like matte black like that. I wanna start changing out a lot of my small accessories with just like matte black things. This one has a dent on it. Um, this is my toothbrush holder, the one I have now. Y'all see is marble, but my countertops are kind of like a marble design, so it's like too much. Um, so I'm just switching it out. And then I got these two dispensers for hand soap and hand lotion they also come with little like labels i have a few in here and it says like hand soap hand lotion conditioner shampoo stuff like that so it just goes on the front like that honestly i don't know if i would want it to say this but we'll see i've seen these everywhere on tiktok too i'm gonna put like bath salts in one and then it, like q-tips and cotton rounds in the other ones and yeah, I just think these are so much cuter than like the little acrylic canisters that I had. Cause again, they have that like natural wood and then it's just clear. So it's gonna match everything. Then I have this little shower mirror. I thought it was gonna be smaller than this. Honestly, don't know if I'm gonna be able to like work this into my shower. I should be able to, but yeah. Okay, so now I'm just gonna set everything up that I bought. Everything that I got is from Amazon. So I'll have it linked in the description if you're interested in anything that I used. But first I'm installing the shelves. So this sticky tape needs to stay on the wall for 24 hours. So the footage of me installing the shelves will actually be from the next day. But yeah, this was really easy to do and very quick and they turned out really cute. Um, so next I installed this phone holder for the inside of your shower. It's gonna make sure that your phone doesn't get wet while you're taking a shower and you can change your music 
or watch a video or just do whatever you want to do but your phone's not going to get wet so honestly it's genius um and i was on the phone with my mom so everybody say hi mommy <laughs> so next i'm gonna install my mirror for my shower and i didn't know how great having a shower mirror was but i can't live without it now um you can just like see when you're shaving your armpits or when you're washing your armpits and you could do skincare in the shower if you're a man you could shave your face and it's honestly just elevated my shower experience so here i am installing the shelves and putting my products on both of them I did kind of stock up for this video so I have like a lot of products in the shower all at once but this is just for the aesthetic of organizing so um, but I do like to switch up my scents every day so I do like to have like a variety of body wash in the shower at once but I usually don't have this much this is just for the video I guess but it does look kind of stupid <laughs> so um, next I'm gonna move on to my countertop I'm going to be replacing some of my old decor with some of the things I got from Amazon. So I wanted to make sure my counter was really clean before I went in and put new products on top. So I'm just using my scrub mommy and some disinfectant and scrubbing down the countertops. All right, so first I had this like silver tray and I feel like it matched because the faucets are silver, but I just didn't like it anymore. So I got this um, kind of like concrete or marble tray from Home Goods, and none of this is finalized, you guys. So if you have like suggestions on how I should like switch things up or decorate, then please comment them down below because I feel like I'm so indecisive and I'm not the best at interior decorating. So I was just kind of like playing around with stuff. But here I am filling up the canisters with bath salts and q tips. I did fill the mid sized one with cotton rounds, but it was kind of hard to film and get them in there perfectly. But I'm just cleaning out this soap dispenser and I'm going to go ahead and fill it up with hand soap. And this one is from Bath & Body Works. It's the Limoncello scent. Love, love, love that scent. But I'm filling up the other one with some body lotion. I didn't have any hand lotion so I just used um, this scent from Bath & Body Works again. And I'm switching out my toothbrush holder. You guys can see the one I had before had a lot of, it was like a marble type of design and my countertops are like that. So it was kind of clashing. Um, but what do we feel about these soap dispensers? Like, do they look good on my counter? I feel like they're cute, but they might clash with my counter. I don't know. I feel like it's so hard to decorate with this type of design, like on the counters because it's so busy. I just wish that they were white, but I'm just kind of playing around with everything like I said if you guys have other suggestions please let me know but I got new shower curtain hooks so I'm replacing these rusty ones with these black ones like I said before I wanted to switch out my little like small details with um, black so I put these black hooks and I think they look really cute especially because the shower curtain is white so it has a good contrast I guess um, but I got this shower curtain from Amazon as well. It's really wrinkled, but I don't have like a steamer. So, um, it's just going to have to be wrinkled for now. <laughs> I also got this diffuser from Amazon. It smells really good and it's really cute and it has little subtle black details. So I really like that about it. So I'm just setting it up and I'm going to replace the, um, faux plant that I have on my counter with the diffuser. I also got a new rug off of Amazon, so I'm just mopping the floor so that it's clean before I put the new rug down and I'm switching out my trash can. So I just had an acrylic one. I was so tired of that one. It always looked disgusting. And yeah, so I'm also going to put this hook that I got from Amazon on my wall next to my shower. The hook that they installed in the apartment is really low, so my robe always touches the ground. So I wanted to put one higher up so i got this matte black one and i think it looks really cute all right next i'm cleaning my makeup brushes because it's been way too long since i cleaned them and when your makeup starts looking like dry and cakey that's when you know you need to go ahead and wash your brushes so i'm using dish soap i'm using the palm olive antibacterial soap and this hand scrubber like makeup brush cleaner by elf i think my aunt got me this for christmas one year 
um, I'll try to find it and link it but these are my brushes all clean and fresh I love the way they look when they're clean and they also just feel like really good on your face and next I'm going into my bed frame cleaning so I have this little green um, steam cleaner and I think I got it from Target but I'm just setting everything up and working on my bed frame so I have the soft frame in the color white and I haven't cleaned it since I got it so it is pretty dirty at this point and it's just like a cloth like polyester material so you can definitely steam clean it or get it professionally cleaned if you want to but this worked just fine for me um I forgot to tell y'all I never tell y'all anything but I moved into a new apartment so that's why my pictures aren't hung up yet um but this is how the bed frame looks from the picture frames just sitting on them for a while um so first before you steam clean anything you want to make sure you vacuum to make sure there's no debris um, that's going to get into your cleaner so that's what i'm doing i'm just vacuuming my bed frame there was like hair and just stuff all over it so i want to make sure that's nice and clean and then i'm going in and just going back and forth with my steam cleaner and cleaning my bed frame my headboard um, i'm going to clean the bed frame which is the bottom piece as well but I didn't show it for this video just because it was kind of hard to film that part. But I really wanted to focus on the headboard because it was disgusting. That was the dirty water. I had to do like three refills to clean this whole thing. But it turned out pretty nice. It looks way cleaner than it did before. And here I am unwrapping my new rug that I got. I threw away my old one because it was white and disgusting and it got really dirty and um i'm trying to take away like a lot of the white from my apartment so i got this like jute looking rug it's not actually a jute rug but it's um pretty cute in my opinion it's from walmart and it doesn't match my couch but just remember i'm going to be getting rid of that couch eventually so i'm kind of decorating for the couch that i want um but yeah so here we are in my closet and yes it's disturbing it's a mess like I said, I've just been like unmotivated and not feeling it lately. So I've just been throwing my clothes at the floor of my closet. And this closet is significantly smaller than the closet at my old apartment. So it holds a lot less. So I just found myself like throwing stuff in there because I knew it wouldn't fit on the rods. So um yeah basically i'm just cleaning the floor getting everything out of the way so that i can go in and look through my clothes i got rid of five trash bags of clothes um which i'm really happy about because i've been wanting to clean out my closet for so long i don't wear a lot of my stuff so it's just like sitting here just taking up space and i want to make room for new basics because i want to get like good quality basics from now on i'm kind of done shopping at shein so i'm gonna let my family and a couple of my friends like look through the stuff first and then i'm gonna figure out what i want to do with the rest i want to donate them but i don't really like taking stuff to goodwill anymore because their prices are ridiculous to me like they hike their prices up and i feel like it's not worth it for used clothes um you can get cheaper stuff off of shein so i just want to find a place that would um like give them to women for free or um find a homeless woman and give her some of them or a couple homeless women so i'm just trying to figure out what i want to do with them but they're just going to sit in my apartment until i do um but yeah so i'm going in and organizing my clothes i used to have everything really organized by like shirts pants jackets and dresses um but I kind of lost all of that. So I'm just going back in and doing that. I'm color coordinating and um, organizing them by the type of clothes they are. These are all the clothes that I kind of had thrown everywhere. I'm hanging them up or folding them. I used to have all my pants hung up, but in this closet, I can't do that anymore. So I just folded all of them and I'm, and I'm going to put them on my shelves that are in my closet. So... Um, I had so many clothes to hang up so that's all I'm doing here and a lot of stuff to fold as well um, but yeah I'm excited to switch out a lot of my stuff just with better quality I'm just 
I don't know, I find myself wearing the same thing over and over again because I'm tired of wearing like terrible quality clothes. So I'm excited to switch everything out. But here I am just putting my pants on the shelves and then I'm also gonna be adding in the clothes that I just hung up. I'm making sure to keep everything, like I said, organized by dresses. So this on this side, I have dresses and jumpsuits and skirts. And then you guys saw me playing around with the shirts on the bottom. And um, at the top of the middle part, I have, I think, like sweaters and jackets. And then I have um, big jackets on the right. So vacuuming the floor. And I still need to figure out what to do with my shoes. Something that's like small apartment friendly because a lot of them are still on the floor and I kind of want to keep everything off of the floor. But this is the final result. It looks so much better. It's not completely final because I need to work on the top and the shoes. But it looks so much better. I can actually walk in my closet and see the floor. So I felt a lot better after doing this because it just like reset my apartment really because this was the most unorganized part of my apartment so i'm really excited or not really excited i'm really happy that i did that um and after all of this i did want a snack so i'm just making like a really tiny charcuterie board i just used colby jack cheese and pepperoni i made a little pepperoni rose just for the sake of the video but i love charcuterie but i didn't feel like making a full thing so i just did a couple things i'm adding some pistachios as well and i'm going to be doing some vision boarding so i've never made a vision board before but i know there's a lot of stuff that i need to visualize in order for me to make it happen so i know i want to redecorate my apartment so i'm taking pictures from print from pinterest that i really like and just placing them randomly on the vision board and then this one that I'm making, I made it in Canva and this is like my 2023, like what I want my year to look like and the aesthetic of my social media accounts and just random things. But I'm placing this as my iPad wallpaper so that I'm just reminded of it. And it was super easy to make. You literally just screenshot pictures from Pinterest and um, crop them and place them on the vision board. And now I'm going to be moving into like skincare and taking a shower and stuff like that. Just wrapping up my day. So I'm putting my hair back and removing some of the makeup that I had with my cellar water and a cotton round. The next reset video I do, I want to focus it just on body care, skincare, and hair care. So just all the pampering routines that I do. So I'm just going to hop in the shower. I'm going to be washing my face first. I'm using the CeraVe Acne Control Cleanser because I've been breaking out really bad. And then I put on the Peter Thomas Roth Sulfur Mask. And lately I've been mixing my body wash with an exfoliant. So I'm taking the Whey Body Wash and Exfoliant in the Melrose Place scent and scrub a dubbing and then after my shower i'm just going in with a couple products because my skin's been really sensitive and irritated lately so i'm just going in with my fur oil on my bikini area and a body lotion and for my skincare i'm going in with a toner a retinoid and two moisturizers and i'm going to be putting my hair up so that i can gua sha my face i'm applying a lip mask and then putting the summer fridays um, moisturizer on my face so that i can go ahead and gua sha and i've been loving this lately it's honestly one of the best ways to end your night because it relaxes you before you go to sleep it feels really really good and it's good for your skin so i've been trying to do this a lot more lately and it's also good to like have this time with yourself and just relax and focus on something before you go to bed and i'm just gonna dry my lashes and brush them out and that's pretty much it for today's video i hope you guys liked it and i'm so sorry i've been gone i love you guys i miss you so definitely talk to me in the comments and i'll see you in the next video